equitying the art of manipulating the fitment, silhouette, and overall aura of a hoodie. I feel like there is an entirely lost art to hoodieing because I feel like now people get kind of lazy and now we just kind of default to like something really big or cropped or flashy. Sometimes it's all of the above. And I don't necessarily think you will be getting the results that you want if you are not properly manipulating these things. There's a reason, there's a science as to why the oversized hoodies on your explore page look like this, like this stuff. How come they get to look like this and I just look swollen? But we're gonna fix that today. I will be breaking down the art of hoodieing down to a science. I am going to identify the problems that you didn't even know that you had. And by the end of this video, you will understand why your hoodies are not hoodieing and how to fix that forever. The fact that I'm chronically online to come up with an entire video about this word that's not real. You have to trust how locked in I am on this. All right, let me introduce you to the ideal life cycle of a hoodie right here. You see right there, that's the dream. A hoodie is born into your life and then that hoodie will make you look good and then that you will grow with that hoodie. You will evolve with that hoodie. And then eventually when the hoodie is seasoned enough, it will get stolen and taken away from you by a special girl in your life. And for all the people out there going, hell no, I would never let a girl steal my hoodie. I would never let a girl steal my hoodie. Hell no, I'm never letting that happen. Hell no, I'm never letting that happen. Congratulations, you just found out that you are lonely or you hate your girl, which might be worse. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is every single hoodie of mine that has been stolen by a girl has had one particular thing in common. I don't know if you can tell in the photos, it's a very specific detail, but every single one of these hoodies smells really good. Because she didn't know that that was a Rick Owens Fall Winter 01 slab bondage hoodie. She didn't know any of that. She just thought it was soft and it smelled like passion fruit. I fulfilled the life cycle of plenty a hoodie and, and them smelling good is definitely the main reason they get stolen. Thanks to the sponsor of this video, Scentbird. Scentbird is a monthly subscription service that lets you sample hundreds of designer fragrances without having to commit to a bottle. We have multiple fits for multiple occasions. Why should we smell the same all the time? When you decide on a scent, your order will come in this file, which is graded for 120 sprays. And real quick, let us just do the math on this. 120 sprays per vial. And let's say we spray ourselves twice a day, 120 sprays divided by two sprays per day. That is 60 days per vial. And you will be surprised how long 60 days is. And like I said, I like to keep a spread, but I like to switch it up every now and then. And my current top three right here, this first First one is Elysium O Intense by Roja. Right off rip, it's just very citrusy. I feel like naturally I will always have a citrusy scent in my rotation. And next is my night out go-to one, which is Persian Sunset by Avant. It is again, still very refreshing, but there's a little bit more body to it. It's not too aggressive, but I think it's pretty strong. And lastly, this one is my personal favorite. I've been wearing this every day, I'm in love with it. Leonora by Mind Games. It's a crazy name, Mind Games but I totally get it though. It's super sweet, but it's almost like comforting. I can't stop smelling it. It's like the type, it's just the type of scent that just goes triple platinum on a piece of fabric like a hoodie. But again, everybody is different. You know, there's a million different types of people out there. So if you want to go on the website, you can take a test and Scentbird will figure out your scent profile and recommend you scents based on your personality and lifestyle. So yeah, go sign up and figure out what scents work best for you if you want to get anything stolen. Make sure you use code FRUGAL55OFF for 55% off. It's a pretty straightforward code this time. Frugal 55 off. Using this discount will make your first 60 day vial around $7, which is a pretty good deal. I feel like we can expend that kind of money, right? Thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. All right, so cracking the code to hoodie. Like I said, dude, you have to trust me. Look how dialed in. And I'm gonna break the video down into three sections with the first one being breaking the illusion. Okay, I'm about to share with you guys some crazy stuff. There is a very common misconception that hoodieing is supposed to be very natural and very effortless. That is false. I think the main reason we get bamboozled into thinking hoodieing is just this thing that happens is because a hoodie is a hoodie. You know, it's a very effortless, 
garment. The whole vibe of a hoodie is like, oh, you know, I'm just chilling, you know, like I'm in a hoodie, like I don't even care. Like I'm in a hoodie. It's a very nonchalant ass garment. And I get that though, because like, like look at this guy, he's wearing a hoodie. Like look how chill this guy is. He's wearing a fucking hoodie, look how chill. But dude, I'm telling you, that is all an illusion. That is not real. There is an entire game to this nonchalant thing, I promise. See, I feel like most people are putting the cart before the horse in a sense that these people in these hoodies, right? You think these people look good and they're not even trying, right? This is the statement. This is the statement that people want you to believe right here. That is completely flipped on its head. It's wrong. It's false. It's the reality is these people look good. The look good is first. These people look good, and so it looks like they're not trying. They look good, so it looks like they're not trying. It's not this one. No, this is the fake one. They're, they're not even trying, and they look good. That's false. It's they look good, so that they look like they... Oh my god. Oh my, what am I fucking saying? These two sentences right here. Two completely different meanings. It is a historic bamboozle. The effortlessness is achieved through effort. You know what I mean? It's ironic. But yeah, the whole point is to look like your style is effortless. Holy sh! What am I even saying right now? All right, what, what can we do to look good so that we look effortless? What can we, shut the f up. What can we do to look good? Well, that brings us to the next section of this video, which is get better. It is true. You must get better. That is facts. And if you're sitting there telling me like, oh my God, no shit, we gotta get better. Good things take time. And now is the time to take. Okay, now finally some actual value. Here's an activity that changed my whole shit up. Genuinely. Literally changed the entire hoodie game for me. Completely flipped it on its head. Here it is. Go online. Just go ahead and collect a bunch of hoodie fit picks for that specific look that you are aiming for. I would say pick a couple that are realistic to your style ambition. You know, just stuff that you would actually have the balls to wear. Like, don't pick. I know this is cool, but don't pick this one. Pick something that you would actually see yourself in. But just get a spread, you know? It doesn't have to be one specific look you're looking for. Like these three fits right here, the, the way these three hoodies work, like I like something different about all of them. Get a good spread so you can figure out what you actually like. Now just take all the photos that you got and just kind of lay them out, you know, whether it be on your phone or like wherever. Now really sit there and process what specific things about these hoodies do you like? What do you like about the role that the hoodie plays in these outfits? And really just get into detail too. Like when you're analyzing, you just think in detail what you like. Don't f***ing say vibe. Don't f***ing say vibe. Don't I like the vibe. Don't f***ing say that. Don't f***ing, I like, it's a cool aesthetic, I like the vibe. Don't f***ing say vibe, I love the vibe. What the f*** are you talking about? You could be talking about anything. If you're having trouble communicating your thoughts, here are some of my favorite things that I like to look for. Obvious ones being like fitment, like length, width of the hoodie, color is a big one, fabric, texture, very obvious in your face things. But some less obvious things that I still find to be very potent are things like sleeve length, cuff tightness, waistband tightness, shoulder seam. And one of my personal priorities that I take into account for every piece of clothing, fabric drape. I love this. For me, it is a make or break a lot of the time. And, un and not even just this, but just understanding how all of these kind of work together is key. I'm not gonna say you have to sit down and fucking write all of this down and be like, I really like this about this and this about this. You don't have to write it down, but it is a lot to digest. And I feel like kind of laying your thoughts all out in one place will really help you retain this knowledge because retention is key for you to be able to apply it later. And you know, it can be simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. Anyways, here's just a quick, very simple breakdown of a hoodie fit that I like, just, you know, so I can get all my thoughts out. You know, just something simple. I just needed an outlet. I just needed a medium. I feel like it's just kind of nice to write your thoughts down. But yeah, I say do something similar to some crap like this 
to a couple of your favorite fits to really just kind of actually prove to yourself that you know what you like hey man i'm not gonna i'm not gonna force you to do anything but going back to like i said it's nice to just kind of have a spread of things when you have a spread you can pick out these details that you like about these hoodies and then find common themes common things within these different types of fits that you still find very attractive you know i like the shoulder on this but i like the drape on this i like the waistband on this whatever it may be and then eventually you can kind of just batch together all these common themes and filter out all the bullshit and end up with something simple and you know more digestible and friendly like this you know this is just your overall taste but you're not done yet you know knowledge is not execution you can dissect all the fits you want but if you are unable to put it on if you're unable to put that shit on then it this whole thing is this whole exercise is pointless but now this takes us to the final and most important step of this entire video even if you did all this crap even if you were locked in enough to do all this crap None of this even matters if you don't pull through with the last step of this video, which is finally game time. I didn't even do the exercise. I just waited till Christian got to the end of the video so that I could just copy what he said so that I didn't even- We love this part, huh? We love the part where we Can we just skip to the part, Christian, where you just end up telling us the things that you like anyways and what you do so that we don't have to do this? Fuck. I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> this shit is no pointless. It's like if we- imagine- imagine if me and you, right? Imagine if me and you are on Hot Ones and then you didn't even eat your wings. And I'm just sitting here busting my ass, asking you questions. You're like, dude, I didn't even eat my wings. Giving you all this sauce just so you can go to sleep and wake up the exact same person you were 24 hours ago. No progress, nothing. Anyways, even if you do go ahead and figure out everything you like about hoodies, all your favorite features and what they do, how do you even go about applying this? How do I even be the change I want to see in the world or whatever people talk about? Like, for example, if like, what if one of your favorite things about hoodies is like how loose the sleeves are or how big they look, right? What even causes that? How do I, how do I search out for that? Or even if you like the drop shoulder, right? Like, how come my drop shoulder doesn't look the same as his drop shoulder? And here we are at that point in the video. I'm just going to share a couple of my favorite things that I do that I find that look really good on me and probably will look good for most people. You're fucking welcome, man. We're doing, look at us. We're doing, we're doing the fucking hot ones thing and you're not even eating your fucking wings, man. Eat your fucking wings. Imagine if Sean Evans was sitting down with somebody and they didn't eat their fucking wings. You know how fucking awkward that would be? You know how awkward it would be if I was Sean Evans and I'm on like my, on the sixth wing or some shit. And I'm looking, and I'm like, damn, you didn't eat a single wing. Like how awkward would that be? That's what this feels like. It takes two to tango. Why are you not tangoing? In my opinion, one of the biggest things that makes a hoodie hoodie, I feel, is when the sleeves are just huge. Like this stuff, I, I don't know what it is. I feel like this is just like, this just is magic, you know? And it's not about the length, you know? It's about girth. I feel like how fit the width, not the length, you know? The width. A lot of that has to come from this space right here, this armpit to shoulder seam. Like this space right here is where I feel a lot of the hoodieing magic comes from. I feel like it just really looks good on body and it feels so much better when there's a lot of room here. To me, it's one of my favorite features. Like, look at this. I love this. It's one of my favorite things to look for. No, I'm not going to help you find a hoodie that has that. I can't help you find everything, man. I am making one, though. This... I made this. Look at this. Raised online. Look at this. Raised online. My brand. Wait for this hoodie to come out. It's f***ing crazy. But another very common feature that people love about hoodies is drop shoulder. And drop shoulder is a whole nother game in itself. Some people like the structured boxy type of drop shoulder. But personally, I really like the very drapey example of a drop shoulder. And I realize a lot of this, a lot of the difference here isn't necessarily where the drop shoulder is placed, but rather it is the fabric using a heavyweight stiffer fabric like maybe a very heavy french terry will keep the structure more making the shoulders look broad and just you know widening the silhouette not the biggest fan of this personally so i look for fabric that's more malleable more drapey you know softer lighter kind of lets the drop shoulder actually drop this is crazy you haven't eaten a single wing it hoodies better 
in my opinion. But again, this is my preference. Just, I'm sharing with you my sauce. But yeah, there's so many things you can tweak when it comes to hoodie. There are a million different things. But then I feel like at the end of the day, it's just a matter of finding out what you like and don't like and actually understanding it enough to find a way to make all these things that you like work together coherently in a hoodie and actually going out and finding it. Follow me on Instagram at Vans at the Met Gala for more of this crap. And if you like this damn hoodie that I have been gassing up, the entire video. Go ahead and follow my brand at Raised Online. It